Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It's time for a little more Crusader Kings 2. I'm your Leo Skelvin. Raise the soldiers. Our retinue is just dead. You know, that doesn't surprise me. And I'm okay with that. The Black Death took its toll. Hmm. Bit of a problem. Alright. Um... Narborn, uh, rally there. We'll figure out what to do afterwards. Yeah, there has been, there has already been too much depopulation. Jesus. All right. No, we'll be fine. You are leading the troops. Oh God, we are. No, stop leading the troops. Disaster. So close to it. Who, baby? So, I mean, there's still three more League of Light and Death, so. Uh, and I can go up to 12 uh, by the end of the game. And, you know, all things considered. Hmm. Like, I'm just debating, like, what, you know, am I going to take? I feel like Valencia and Mercia is the right call. You know. Incorporate that into Crown Land over time. Alright. Peasant Revolt for Docks. Alright. And our troops will be mildly inconvenienced by this. Alright, so how the hell do we deal with this? Hmm. Supply limits. Anywhere not along the coast. Basically don't exceed nothing. Which kind of sucks. Alright. I thought my early alpha strike would be very helpful. Turns out it may have not been as good as I was hoping. Okay. First off, we need one group to travel along the old coast road. Head up there. You guys head for the one not totally screwed up province and go begin your siege. Perhaps the others will, you know, repopulate after a little bit of time. Okay, you know what? No. The dynasty itself is forbidden from leading troops at this point. Seriously. There's three of us left alive, and, I mean, we have a lot of problems with children. Well, not the... Yeah, I was worried this was going to turn out very bad for us. Looks like it doesn't. Good news. Oh, no, it does. Because they eventually just over-reinforced on us. All right. I call that bull crap, but sure. Ugh. Christ, I wonder setting in, isn't it? Okay. Um, well, we're going to need to unite and fight anyway. Especially after those losses. Oh, no, wait. Winter's setting in. Head for the coastline. For the love of God, head for the coastline. Warfare during this period of, you know... Post-apocalyptic hellscape is a little different. The rules have changed slightly. So I married your relative. Um, because I didn't do this marriage. She did while she was an AI. And yeah. Alright. Uh, worship other gods. Tigmi openly follows the Tamazith faith. Excuse me? 
Excuse me? Okay, so it's not actually a thing. It's just some random courtier in a baron's court that follows the faith. And they're like, dude, check it out. Also, what the fuck? This is a kingdom now? The kingdom of the canaries. All right, sure. Smile, plant, and plague is my sign on that nine. I mean, I'm not taking sympathy for pagans. Um, there are a lot of, uh, like... Zealous Cathars because of the decisions we can take. Alright, so June's rolled around, the winter has passed. Do what we can. Alright. Chase, murderize, kill. Okay. Now we need to move on to Avrenge. Actually begin the taking there. I'm trying to not overexert myself. Um, because attrition can do, you know, a lot of damage. There is, of course, historically talks of things like General Winter. But unfortunately, in this case, we're kind of subject to general plague. Very capable. General, indeed. And we have to be cautious. Oh yeah, right. Auto-assigned commanders was turned off by the whole succession thing. Oh, that's good. The revolt has solved itself. I figured it would. They usually do. All right, two county kingdom. Mario, yeah. I mean, there's others as well. Uh, let's see. We have Sardinia, Corsica, which is a four-province kingdom. That's a tiny-ass one. What other tiny-ass kingdoms do we have? I think there's a couple these days, eh? Um. I guess those are just the really tiny ones. Oh man, Brittany as a de jure kingdom has actually expanded, guys. It has a second duchy. Dun dun dun. In all seriousness, it looks like Brittany is supplanting France. Alright. Iceland, yeah, that's another four province kingdom. True. The Kingdom of the North Sea. No, that's a six province, seven province or kingdom because it has those islands as well. Yeah. Yeah, not as small. Alright, we're gonna withdraw to the coastline again before we take any more hits. Moravia, Serbia. I mean, first off, there is no Moravia. Uh, second off, eh, Serpia is three, four, five, six, seven. Not that small. All right. Spend some time reading the scriptures. And this is kind of why I wanted to fall back a little bit. I foresaw that they would be able to amass another army. Indeed. Well, I was right. Question is, am I right enough? Quit throwing more men into this. Ancient wisdom and religious studies, good. Whew. That hurt a lot. This is pretty much the only safe place to be standing, though. So, I mean, if they want to go south there, they're more than welcome to sit 
in uh, that region and burn while we reinforce. That's, that's not a place I want to be standing, let me tell you. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Like, I was standing here for a little too long myself. But either way, we're enforcing control over the region, so. Without taking too many more penalties on, we shouldn't have too much trouble just, uh, taking over everything here. Oh, I see France has been re-annexed by Brittany. Tanisteri, so it won't split. At least it probably won't, I don't think. Mm -hmm. And Oman has four, Livonia has six. Noted. Yeah. Oh, good. Avrenj has uh, lost significant depopulation issues. Glad to hear it. Mm -hmm. We got a defensive bonus in the mountains. Exactly what we want. Ah, oh, fuck. This could be a problem. Hopefully not. Temperates. We need to try and... Good. As long as we take this position, we're fine. Because no matter what, he's still walking through so much hellscape to get here. That he's never going to reinforce enough to actually bring an attack against us. That's why I have to be very careful with my movements. Oh dear. This should be okay. Yeah, so we got 99. That will take over at the end of the month. After 50 years, the Empire of the Gothic Kingdom of Al Andalus is no longer part of Jure nothing. Enforce demands. Enforce demands? Or. Oh no, we have to win the battle first. There. Demands have been enforced. Finally. We're slowly starting to take places over here. I'm pleased to say that the Kingdom of Aquitaine is now fully controlled by us. An earnest disciple. Alright. We should probably go uh, on a pilgrimage of some sort. So, thank you, by the way, to Trenchman Hungry for following. Uh, let's see, where was I? Something, something... Uh, distribute all holdings. There we go. That's the button. Yeah. Grand land of title, the Duchy of Avrenge. There we go. Vassal limits are, are, are kind of getting low. Portuguese. There's nothing I can really do about this, is there? Like these regions are just going to convert to Catalan. That'll at least remain. This, this, that's a bit of a problem. You're Ocidian now. I don't even know why. I mean, down here, Catalan, Catalan, Visigothic. It may be time to consider embracing, you know, something. It's hard to say. Oh well. We're definitely going to need to start needing uh, king vassals, which is kind of a shame. Oh well. See, just to check, uh, is there anything in Aquitaine we do not control? Nope, 29 out of 29, so it'll start drifting into us. Perfect. Alright. 
Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, sure. Except the ransom. New roads. Overall, things are going pretty well. Oh, we have the kingdom of Damietta now. A comedic kingdom. Who'd have thought? All right. I should probably lower my troops. What? what? Man, the trade post of Toledo was burned. God damn it. It's fine for now. Alright. You know what seems to suck? I think in the succession crisis, like, our half-brother at this point has run away with all of our tech points that we had stored up. Because, <laughs> yeah. I do believe that uh, we should have more otherwise. Damn. Oh well. When he dies, inevitably it'll be returned into the main line here. So, ponder this more deeply. On a side note, Paragon. Yeah, convert a province. That won't take long around here if we actually tell our port chaplain to do it. Generally speaking, it's easy to convert the Chalestonians out. Despite everything, our moral authority is actually at 100. A new realm. Novgorod Seversky. You know, government-wise, how are the nomads doing? They're slowly falling back and dying out. Excellent. Loyal servant. Let me guess. Death, right? We get to play chess. No? Alright. That's good. Yeah. Why do they try and hurt me? Alright. We're not doing too bad, at least. The problem still is that we have too many vassals. Kings have to start being formed. Kingdoms have to start being formed. Hmm. This should just, I believe, immediately be renamed to the Kingdom of Leon. Because there's a freaking decision for that. Leon and Asturias are one. Asturias is no more. Asturias or Leon, what's the difference? Mostly just name. But also the... Cr the, uh... Cross there changes. Alright. So we have Leon in the north. Good. 29 out of 29. This does mean that we have some powerful vassals, though. But I suppose that's the imperial bureaucracy sometimes, isn't it? Our community grows. It's going to take some time, but we're going to have to start lowering the uh, imperial decadence through the use of our prestige. No, we do not have vice royalties yet. Vice royalties are much harder to get, unfortunately. Still in the imperial administration. Majesty 5. Side note... female marshals. Egalitarianism, here we come. Thank you to Star Hunter 1551 for following. Alright. It's always great to uh, have a larger pool of people to draw from. No, we don't need to do that. Do you need you, though? Go for it. Alright. So similarly, like I've, we've thought about before, we do have goals involving the conquest of the Kingdom of Burgundy, which I suppose is our next goal. Yeah. That's up for next. 
At least it'll be an easy kingdom. Hmm. Alright. But yeah, it's kind of concerning. Oh, well, Saxony and Sweden have merged into one. Oh my. So that might be a chance for the Norse faith to reform right there, because I believe Saxony controls. Yeah. So Saxony controls that. He controls that. If he gets a hold of that, that, or that, then that's probably reformed Nordic. Maybe? Assuming they can get the remaining piety they need, which usually isn't a big problem. Yeah. Hmm. We'll see. If Saxony can conquer Denmark. Still no children. Yep. There's not much we can do about it. Like, we have a fertility above zero. We can have a child. If we don't end up having a child, we'll just adopt. That's how it works around here. Not much we can do. Uh, rain for 20 years seems reasonable at this point. Visit the visit chambers mod. Well, I mean, I don't know how much that would help us. Like, even as a Cathar, we legitimately cannot select either the family or friggin' seduction focus, not even the hunting focus. Like, these three focuses are just closed off from us, which kind of neuters one of our better chances at getting some fertility. Is Scotland in control of Cornwall? Yes, it is. Nothing is quite stable here yet. There's there's a little uh, little all over the place everywhere. It's fine. All right. No compatible CK two plus. Figured. Like I said, probably also wouldn't help much. Clearly abandoned. Hmm. Indeed. Considering our generally growing popularity, angry over reforms until 91. Yeah. Coming in uh, 91, I think we may just begin seizing some land. With medium authority. Oh my. It is the stigmata. We are blessed. Good. Yeah, there's a lot of adoptees. So. Form, form imperial attacks. Okay. 21% chance of good things. 42% chance of less good things, but still good things. 26% chance of bad things and 8% chance of fuck us. Eh, oh well. There are worse things. Alright. So. Get to it. There's only, what, three provinces left on the peninsula, and then it's Cathar. Two provinces left on the peninsula. Damn, she's good at her job. Alright. Yeah. We, uh, we, we've got a nice thing going here. And we are now tied for world's largest religion, everybody. 120. Not bad. Hmm. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. Well, unmarried heir. Prince Van Yogg's cast. Usurped title minus 400. I understand your anger. I do. 
I really do. No, I don't want to arrange marriage. Betrothal. No. No. Good luck. That's, I wasn't happy about it either, but... If choose between converting or dying, what would you choose? Oh, converting. If I ever really felt super heavily threatened that uh, I could no longer maintain the uh, Cathar faith due to fertility issues or something similar, I'd be fucking converting right away. Back to paganism, just take concubines if I have to. I hope I don't have to, but, you know. <laughs> I was pretty much given the choice convert or die before, and I converted. I have to... It's an easy choice. Hmm. Let's grab some more of this. Nice translation notice. Alright. Commander improved. Well, now's a good time to uh, close out the episode. Do, 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 do. So, I suppose Dauphine's up next. Mm hmm. Or, I mean, I guess I could do others. There is Savoy, those two provinces. Or Upper Burgundy, these two provinces. No, we're just going to take Dauphine. It's easier that way. Speaking of which, are we able to create the Kingdom of Burgundy yet? No, we need three more provinces. Oh, good. I have plans for that, then. Yes. Plans. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you everybody for watching. I've been your lovely, lovely host, Kilman, signing off.